hello everybody welcome to my channel welcome to my studio hey right i've got good news good news good news i have good news well something encouraging okay <laughs> obviously we've been talking about all the stuff that's been taking place but today i have some a beautiful speech beautiful speech not only is it a beautiful speech um i like the way that mr omar well first of all i haven't told you who mr omar is Mr. Omar is the first uh, MP, Labour MP in New Zealand. He's a Muslim and um, he, he, he was a refugee. So he talks about his story. I'm not going to say much. You're going to listen to what he says. It's a beautiful story about how he came from um, um, Ethiopia. And um, you guys know what's been happening. Ethiopia has been happening for years. It's been happening not long ago as well. We've had like a lot of refugees especially from where he comes from um mr abraham omar um he comes from he comes from Ethiopia. I can't really pronounce it that well but he's an Ethiopian and he talks about his story it's a beautiful story guys listen to it and don't forget to like and to share and to comment okay first mp labor mp black africa mp in new zealand Watch the clip and tell me what you think. I remember the terror when the war raged in our city. I was young, but I vividly remember the fighting. There was no power. We had very little food. The city was surrounded by the fighters for months and months. I knew I had no choice but to leave before my time came. So, Mr. Speaker, I left behind everything I loved my country, my family, my friends, and my dreams, including the lost list, list, the long list of things I wanted to be and do. I made it, I crossed the border and handed myself into the UNHCR camp and the Sudanese authorities, and I was granted refugee status to stay in Sudan. Five years later, I came to New Zealand as a refugee. I had never heard of this place, to be honest. But an immigration officer told me it was one of the most peaceful countries in the world. That was good enough for me because I was sick and tired of looking over my shoulder. My early life in New Zealand wasn't easy. I got a job as a security guard, but I left it I was, after I was attacked and beaten in the middle of night. I did a farm work, fruit picking, and started cleaning. My low wages meant I couldn't save to study, and in order to support my family back home, I picked up more and more hours until I was doing 80 hours a week. I got a pay rise, and I decided to go to university. A few months later, one Sunday night, I was cleaning a lecture theater. The next day, I had my first lecture, Politics 111, in that same lecture theater. It was a very emotional moment that I will never forget. The reality is many millions of people will not have the luck that I have had. Until the world changes, innocent lives will continue to be lost and displaced in the hands of evil and war. That is what we must change. That is what we must change, Mr. Speaker. In my mother tongue, which is called Saho, I just wanted to say to these people, Sin Abliuk Anya which is, I see you. Sin arar abyukani, which is, I feel you. Insha'Allah, prele sinakani, which I will be on your side and fight alongside you. Norera, tena koto, tena koto, tena tato kato.